When I was 16, I remember slipping out one Sunday night. It was around this time of year, around the beginning of August. And Bernie and I met at the gates of the workhouse and the pair of us off to a dance in our stra. I was being pestered by a fellow called Tim Carlin at the time. But it was really Brian McGuinness that I was, that I was keen on. Remember Brian? With the white hands and the longest eyelashes you ever saw? But of course, he was crazy about Bernie. Anyhow, the boys took us on the bars of their bikes and off the four of us headed to Ardstra, 15 miles each way. If Daddy had known, may he rest in peace. And at the end of the night, there was a competition for the best military two-step. And it came down to three couples. Uh, the local pair from Ardstra, we, Timmy, and myself, he was up to there on me. And Brian and Bernie. They were so beautiful together, so stylish. You couldn't take your eyes off them. People stopped dancing and just gazed at them. And when the judges announced the winners, they were probably blind drunk. Naturally, the local couple came first, then Timmy and myself came second, and Brian and Bernie came third. Poor Bernie was stunned. Couldn't believe it. Couldn't talk. Wouldn't speak to any of us for the rest of the evening. Wouldn't even cycle home with us. She was right too. They should have won. They were so beautiful together. And that was the last time I saw Brian McGuinness. Remember Brian, with the... <laughs> Next thing I'd heard, he'd left for Australia. She was right to be angry, Bernie. I know it wasn't fair, it wasn't fair at all. They must have been blind drunk, those judges, whoever they were. <laughs>